Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rosie here, and I play Dead by Daylight so you don't have to. What a week! We got all the footage we need, and I, for one, am just blown away by some of the feedback I've been seeing based on uh, what, what, what the changes are. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best patch we've gotten in a very, very, very long time. There are some things in it that are garbage, and, 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 and yes, they do need to be looked at, but like, that's every patch, bro. Every patch we get something bad. You can't expect anything 100% good. But the thing I'm here to really go over is that there's the, 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 the two main things that I've seen. One, the killer changes are quite worthless. And then two, uh, the survivors are somehow stronger now after all these changes. Okay, let's start with survivors being stronger. Okay, because this is the main thing I've been seeing. The whole quote unquote endurance meta. How you can use off the record into, what is it, what is it, off the, is it, but it's like, okay, you can't get your first health state, so you get off the hook, you get off the record, off the record, medal of man, oh, no, 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 okay, okay, I see what they're saying now, you get healed, right, because off the record doesn't deactivate when you get healed, so you get healed, then you go find the killer, you get one hit, injured because of off the record, that hit was a protection hit, so you get medal of man, and then you get dead hard, and then you go down, and then you DS the killer, and then you get six health states. That's, that's pretty much what, what people are saying, right? Like, wow, survivor's so broke. You get six health states if you pull that in ridiculous, not convoluted, not at all consistent play off. You get six health states. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to... Oh, wait, there's a Sifted Agent in there too, right? Yeah, yeah, forgot about that. You get... That, that, that's what people... That, that's what people might be saying. You get off the record... Off the record, septic agent, metal of man, dead hard. Did, did they hit that down? Then you de like, okay, so you, there's some convoluted ways you get a lot of health states. Ladies and gentlemen, I have one question to ask you regarding the endurance meta. How the fuck is that any different than what they can do right now? What, 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 what okay, what, what? They get off the hook, borrow time. Uh, they have their metal of man. The borrow time is a protection hit. It's a borrow time, metal of man. Uh, then they use the septic agent. Then they use Dead Hard, which is way better than the one in PTB. And then they Dead Hard to the pellet. That's another hit that you would have had. It's the only difference is that you're not actually hitting them. And then you down them, then you DS. That's five health states right there. They could do that right now in base game. But you never see that. You never see that, do you? You never see prolonged uses of endurance status effect, even in the main game right now where it's still possible. Don't fucking worry about it. That is not at all consistent. And if they want to set that up, if they really want to set a convoluted, ridiculous, stupid play up where they can get a shit ton of shit done with their endurance and get five plus health stays, they have to get off the fucking generators to realistically make that happen. And if somebody is doodle doing, taking 85 protection hits, what the fuck perk you think they got, bro? You're not a stupid killer. You're going to know they have fucking metal of man. You're not retarded. There's ways to play around that shit. There, there really is. I promise. I promise there's ways to play around that shit. And, and, uh, like, uh, like, it just, uh, ugh, ugh, it's, it's just, it's so, it's so convoluted, guys. I don't understand why people are clinging to that now. That's what it, like, what, what, what is, why is it, so, why is it such a big problem now? Especially with Dead Hard being weaker now, there's a huge hole in that chain now. Because Dead Hard is so much weaker, and you, like, if you're, if you're, if they are using any kind of animation, they don't have the perk active like the, the the situations where dead heart is actually going to be a confirmed hit dodge are, are very few and far between so like i don't i don't understand why people think this is so good especially since you don't see it in main game right now where it's really possible to do it it's really really possible to do it right now but you never see it because it's convoluted inconsistent it keeps you off the gens and it's bad okay now maybe late game they're screwing around but they already beat you already so, like, if, they, if they're gen rushing you with two, min two minutes into the game and four gens are done, the reason you're losing is not because they, they ganged up and did endurance status effect bullshit. You lost because of the gen speeds, which you're getting hit this patch. You know what I'm saying? At any game where they can realistically pull this off, you're not losing because they did that. You're losing because the gen speeds are bad and the tiles are, are, broke, are not very good. That's why you're losing, not because they were able to pull this off. This is like the most win more convoluted bullshit strategy I've ever seen. The only thing that's there is it's flashy. It can get clicks. It can get clicks on the internet. 
You can have True Talent and Ots and all these fucking clowns commenting on their videos. Oh, survivors get five plus health states. Behavior is really ruining the game, guys. Motherfucker, you can do that right now. It's not, you're, you're not smart or intelligent. This isn't some groundbreaking strategy that you can do. This is very possible to do right now, and it never happens. So don't fucking worry about it. If you're really that worried about it, bring Save the Best for Last. This is what I'm encouraging you to do anyway. Because Save the Best for Last is really good. And it's going to be even better. Next, the killer changes are useless. True Talent uploaded a video where he, he was Wraith, and he chased the fucker, the fucker at Groaning Storehouse. Okay, with a few stacks to save the best for last, and I think I think believe brutal strength and a stack of fire up. Okay, and he he was chasing the guy, and the guy was just pre-dropping the pallets, and he was kicking everything, and the guy was still making the broken chain tiles, and then he's when he was going, haha, the killer buffs are useless. There's a few holes there, ladies and gentlemen. Like, don't think I just I just sucked true off. There are a lot. There are a few holes there. Number one. You're a groaning fucking storehouse as a below keystone character, as a bottom three character. The changes, any change they give the killers is not going to look good at groaning storehouse when you're playing the Wraith. It's just not. Especially when the person you're playing against is a pre-dropper. Those three key ingredients are going to make any combination of changes look completely worthless. Because they are using a broken map against a worthless character, uh... And they're pre-dropping, which, which, which ignores mind games. So every component of possible skill there is being completely ignored. Second, it ignores all the key elements of killer gameplay. Yeah, sure, if you just chase one guy and don't play Wraith right, then yeah, it's going to look pretty weak. However, Wraith's main strategy is to hit and run bounce around. So basically, you should be getting one pallet down, leaving, going to another guy, uncloaking there, maybe getting another pallet down by, by some gens, create, turn, turning those gens into dead zones where you can confirm a hit, etc., etc. Ignores the use of the, and it also ignores the use of possible killer powers during chase, like a pyramid head, who could zone you, zone you, zone you with his drawings, and then decide to kick a pallet to force you either left to go, go around the torment, or get into torment, or go the other way, which is, which was, there's nothing there. There's a lot of Killer powers will also interact with Brutal Strength and save the best for last very, very well. That's another thing that playing Wraith doesn't really look at because he's Wraith and doesn't have a power in Chase. So we talked about like the, the whole one versus four thing. Like Samara would absolutely love to break a TV, but let's go through a TV, break a pallet, use her manifest with the eerie tape, hit somebody, leave, and then like it, it adds. The, the increased breaking speeds are going to help these one versus four hit and run characters. Hopefully, ideally, on paper. Not saying this is going to be the biggest buff in the entire world, but you're really, like, like, Killer is really being slept on here. I really think so. You're really sleeping on Killer. Yes, Killer is not going to be better than Survive. Like, like, people are like, oh, Rosie, this patch must be bad. Most overrated patch ever. Ladies and gentlemen, did I ever once in my last video say Killer was going to be better than Survivor when this dropped? No, I didn't. I didn't. I, I understand what we're getting here. This is step one. You can't just shit on step one and say, well, the game's not going to be much better after step one goes in. So it's just like, do you see why shitting on step one is just not good? It's just bad. It's just bad for the idea of what we're trying to do here. In a world where you get balance changes through base game changes, through blanket fixes, you cannot shit on step one. Because step one leads you to step two. Step two leads you to step three. Step three leads you to step four. You, if you're doing this in steps, obviously step one isn't going to make the game completely balanced. Why are we shitting on this patch? I don't understand. This is step one. We're getting a dead hard change and some pallet breaking speed that can combine with the new perk to give us less than two seconds of pallet breaking speed and brutal strength, and we're getting free save the best for last to improve that perk, to improve that aspect of one versus four game as well, in chase, where you get, like, you have six stacks, you're basically going as fast as you would when you have eight in the pre-patch, how is that not good? You're gonna get something here, guys, I, I promise, I promise Killer's getting slept on here. And yes, you're not gonna be able to beat Swifts, you're not gonna, I, like, I never deluded myself into thinking that's what you're gonna be able to do after step one. The thing that we need to turn to now are the maps, but here's the thing, lads. You realistically couldn't look at the maps until Dead Hard was gone. Dead Hard, you cannot look at the maps under three-hit balance. You can't. Because every map in the game looks absolutely stupid when three-hit balance is in the game. So you have to delete Dead Hard first. The fact that we're getting pallet breaking speeds and other stuff on top of it is a bonus. For real. 
that bloodlust changed, that might need to be re-examined in a few months to, to get some better map fixes. But for right now, the bloodlust change is okay too. You are getting a, you are getting some stuff here. Like on a map like what? Wrecker's Yard, the mo the best map in the game, Wrecker's Yard. On a map like Wrecker's Yard, and you're playing as fucking who's who's pretty fucking good. Uh we said Pier uh, Pinhead. There you go, Pinhead. Wrecker's Yard, Pinhead, Brutal Strength, and Save the Best for Last. You don't think that's going to have some kind of impact on the way Pinhead approaches the game? Like, I don't, I, I, I fail to see what world you're in if you don't understand my Pinhead having 30% pallet breaking speed. Or Bitch Boy. I don't think you, I, I, I don't think you understand why Bitch Boy getting 30% pallet breaking speed is going to help him out. Like, these characters are going to do, these, these, these Keystone characters are looking at this patch and salivating. And I like, like I don't understand why the community is shitting on every each aspect of, 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 of this game. And it's like yes, camping as well. If you have four stacks to save the best for last, and you're fucking doctor, you can camp that shit. And you can camp him to where realistically he doesn't get off the hook. That's the way camping is going to work now. If you are Samara, you shouldn't even bother camping. If you're Wraith, you shouldn't even bother camping. Because off the record is too strong. Off the record is the only aspect of the survivors that needs toned down coming into the main game. Off the record does need nerfed. Yes, absolutely. Off the record needs adjusted. Off the record needs nerfed. Off the record can make some of those endurance stacking plays a bit more consistent than they would be in the game right now. I admit all that. Yes, that is all that all is true. Off the record is stupid. But this 6 plus health status effect bullshit is pure content creator clickbait and you all are falling for it. Come on guys, be better. You can do better than that. I believe in you. <laughs> Don't fall for the content creator rhetoric here. Killer is going to be stronger after this patch. Survivor will be weaker after this patch. And this is very, very obvious. All right, lads, that's all I got to say. I'm getting the hell out of here. GG's, don't fall for this shit, bruh. The game is going to be better when this goes in.